They were craftsmen. They were blacksmiths. They were traders. They were knowledgeable in many fields. A huge number of them are unlettered, and the only thing they know about their book is what they wish was in the book. In the next ayah, Allah says, وَمِنْهُمْ أُمِّيُّونَ And among them are people that are ummiyun, unlettered, uneducated. But the Israelites were knowledgeable people. They were craftsmen. They were blacksmiths. They were traders. They were knowledgeable in many fields. And today, we can be programmers. We can be medical doctors. We can be political scientists. We can be researchers. How is he saying among them are unlettered people? He's talking about in terms of their religion, in terms of the actual scripture, in terms of the word of Allah. They're completely unlettered. They have no direct access to their book. They have no clue what it says. So, لَا يَعْلَمُونَ الْكِتَابِ They don't know the book. So he further explains himself saying, among them are unlettered that don't know the book. أُمِّيُّونَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ الْكِتَابِ Interestingly, for those of you that are students of the Arabic language, the لَا يَعْلَمُونَ الْكِتَابِ can be considered a sifa of ummiyun because ummiyun is nakira. And the jumla fi'liya can be considered a sifa. Now what that means in simple English is they are unlettered who don't know the book. Okay. إِلَّا amaniya, Except for amani. This interesting word. So they don't know the book except for Amani. Now Amani can be translated wishful thinking. Umniya, or originally pronounced Munya, and then it became Umniya. It has several meanings. One of them is what the heart desires. It also implies the meaning of the mind being preoccupied with what is or what might not even exist. Meaning fantasizing in your head, dreaming in your head. Allah is commenting on the mass population of the Israelites and saying a huge number of them are unlettered and the only thing they know about their book is what they wish was in the book. Or their own wishes have now corrupted their opinion of what the book... The Qur'an never says you have to pray five times. Where is it? Show me. Right? They don't want to pray. So now the Qur'an never says that. Okay, show me where in the Qur'an I can't do that. Where is it? Where does it talk about beer? Show me. Where is weed? Show it to me. It didn't even exist then, bro, so it's fine. So, like, I'm not gambling, I'm just tapping. Finger tapping haram? That's just, you do it in Salah too, I'm doing it on the screen. It's nothing. You know what that is? You've already got desires, you want to do some stuff, and now you want to impose that onto the book and say, Nah, that's not what the book says. That's what it says. Allah says, be kind, bro. Allah says he's going to forgive. Allah says it. Look, he's a ghafoor or something. What's the Arabic word? Ghafoor? Yeah, that's what he says. So you, you pick and choose, and you come up with your own Islam. And then the, even the best one. Yeah, that's not the Islam I follow. You know, I have my own connection to Allah. Okay. You know what that means? I don't need to know the book. My feelings are actually my religion. How I feel is my religion. And you can't judge me. No, Allah's word. No, 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 that's you judging me. But Allah says, no, I got a special connection with Allah. You don't know. Allah understands me. Really, but you don't seem to understand Allah. <laughs> right? And they're doing nothing but making assumptions. They do nothing but make assumptions. This is a commentary on the educated yet uneducated.